Okay, so hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Android Pie based MIUI, which is just been released. And let me just show you the file I downloaded over here. So here we go. Now I'm noticing a difference. Well, I would say this build, which is out right now, is not for the like Indian Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is actually for the global Redmi Note 5 AI. Let me show you the versions, the differentiation. If you go into the normal Indian variant, the information of that file, you will see that it's written that HM Note 5 or like HM Note 5 Pro Global. But over here, let me show you the information of this file. Here it shows HM Note 5 Global only. So I think this is just for the global version, not for the Indian version. But I'll try to flash it with the lazy flasher zip file, of course. And if you ask me that which ROM I am on right now, well, this is the Havoc OS latest build, of course, based on Android Pie. And this ROM is running super fine. We have double tap to sleep on the home screen. This is the launcher, launcher and stuff. Double tap to sleep on the status bar works fine too. Accent color going on, lot of customizations all over the UI. So if you wanna flash a custom ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, I'll definitely recommend the Havoc OS latest build right now. Everything just works flawlessly. We have the like stock MIUI camera and you can even install the Google camera of course if you want to. But right now let me just show you how to flash it. So before doing anything, if you do not have any kind of mods or stuff, you need to have unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed, the official TWRP latest build. Make sure you have installed official TWRP, I'll give the like direct link in the description box below too. So don't worry and the ROM file link too will be listed in the description. So let me just like reboot to recovery now. You can reboot to like recovery by holding the volume up and the power button together too. But before proceeding or before doing anything, make sure you have a backup of your whole system. Otherwise you may face any kind of data loss or something. So just make sure to backup everything. And right now I'm on this 3.2.3 slash 2 on this like official TWRP version. So right now, just go to wipe, then advanced wipe, Dalby cache, data, system and vendor. So now wipe everything from here. But before wiping, make sure you have a backup. I'm saying it again. Now go to install. Now go to your specified folder where you have downloaded the ROM and the lazy flasher zip file. Now from here, select this file, the MIUI 9.3.25. And this is based on 9.0 as you can see from the name. Now just select it and tap on add more zip. Now tap like select the lazy flash or zip file as the secondary zip. Now swipe to confirm flash. So as you can see now it's done, but let me tell you that this will take quite a lot longer time when compared to the like custom ROM flashing time. So this MIUI is like does take a couple of more like minutes. To flash keep that in mind that it will take a couple of like more minutes but it's normal now once it's done tap on reboot system the me logo looks kind of stretched over here now it's fine so after almost 20 minutes later it finally booted up now let me just set the rom up and show you guys So I'm currently setting up the fingerprint scanner, like the fingerprint unlock and it's working fine I guess. So the fingerprint is added successfully. Now I'll just like block this user experience program, personalize ads and stuff. So I think we are almost there with the setup and as always the MIUI setup takes quite a lot of time when compared to the like stock Android setup. So for convenience, I'm going to use the POCO launcher, which I have like already restored from my Google app data backup and looks like it's working fine, I guess. But let me show you the settings panel quickly over here. Let's go to about and over here, as you can see, it says device model as Redmi Note 5, not Note 5 Pro. And over here, it says MIUI 10 Global Beta 9.3.25. And if we look at the Android version over here, it says Android 9. Let me just tap on it. And as you can see, finally, we have the MIUI 10 based on Android Pie over here for the Redmi Note 5 Pro running super fine. Now, let me just check out the cameras and stuff. 
let's open the camera and seems like it's working fine let's go to the portrait mode and here is my redmi note 7 pro let me just like take a picture quickly so here as you can see taking a picture works fine i guess so the camera seems to be working fine as of now and if i switch to the front camera because redmi note 5 ai has a different front camera module let me just test it so as you can see from here the front camera is working too as you can see i can like you guys can see my dslr and here is my face let me just capture a selfie quickly portrait selfie so it takes still takes couple of seconds to like open the photo as you can see so it finally did open i think it captured the picture a little bit later when i pressed the shutter button but that's fine like the camera is working at least so on both like the front and rear camera is working fine over here so i'm gonna definitely test this rom out thoroughly in like the coming days and i'll let you guys know how is the rom i'm just restoring my google app data backup and let me just show you guys the security patch level all right so here as you can see it says 2019.45 so is it already the april 5th security patch i don't know but it says 2019.45 security patch over here as you can see so i think it somehow says 5th april 2019 security patch but i don't actually get it we like we are still on march xiaomi is already on april so that is great and in terms of features i think we have like all the normal things but if we rotate we still do not get that like the rotation button of android pi over here and we do have the full screen gesture and stuff like this you can just go home just like this takes quite a few seconds to like load if you are not using them from before and this is how the recent panel looks like cleaner security scan find apps games like the normal stuff of the recent panel over here and the gestures are working fine too so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one with more amazing videos and this is how you should flash the official like the MIUI 10 based on Android Pie for Redmi Note 5 Pro. Share this video with your friends if you want to show them how to install this ROM on Redmi Note 5 Pro right now and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.